Rest in peace. How's it going, guys? Today's video, we're going to be going over the uh, Mizit, 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 that, yeah, that big bubbly dragon thing. Or is it a water fox? I don't know. Whatever the hell it is, we're going to kill it. So, it is definitely a slippery little bugger and can be very, very annoying at times. But I've got you covered. So, like always, cram as many health potions into your bag as you can. Stock up on your traps and tranks. Bring some cleansers to get rid of the bubbly crap it spits out at you. And then head over to the, uh, well, the kitchen. So, food wise, it's going to all depend on you and what you're running and what armor set you've got. So, you can always run the water resist if you know that's what you're struggling with. You can always run weakener, that's always a good option. And the defender or medic. Dangos. You know, if you look at your gear and you've got minus 30,000 water resistance, that's probably going to be your issue and why you're carting so much. So, you know, you guys just think about it and just have a look. So, what is this thing weak to? Uh, oh, you want the answer? No, I'm just kidding. It's weak to dragon and it's weak to thunder. So utilise that to the best effect that you can but it's not necessary. One of the moves that catch most people off guard, to be honest, is like, it's like a spinny bubble attack. So it'll coil around itself, spit bubbles out, and if either hit you, it's obviously gonna do damage. Now the annoyance of this is, obviously if you manage to evade the initial attack, a lot of the time the bubbles are gonna hit you anyway. Hence why bring cleansers. As long as you're wary of what it's actually doing, the bubbles shouldn't really cause much of an issue because you should be able to see them coming at you anyway. The next move is a tail slam. There's two variants of this. One, which you'll do normally. Um, it is a lot slower and it's a lot more telegraphed than what the other one is. So you should be able to dodge it. The second one, on the other hand, is when it's enraged and it almost comes out of nowhere. As you can see in the clip, it nearly bonks me on the head. The thing that I do and get used to doing during this whole fight is if it looks like it's going to pounce, just side roll. Because that way if it does do a body slam or a tail slam or anything like that, you're not going to be even in that same line that the tail or its body is going to come down at. The next sort of attacks like a pounce but it releases bubbles and there's two different um, ways it does this. One, it just sort of charges forward and slides to the side while it's spitting the bubbles out. And then the other one, it's kind of like a spin that it does, and again, it spits out bubbles. My advice on this sort of part is just try and keep your distance to it, because sometimes it transitions from doing that into like the water jet thing that it does. It fires it out of its mouth and hits like a bus. So get that distance, keep away from it, and keep moving. The next one is the big body slam. Like, you'll hear... Uh, like an audio cue before it does anything um, you'll you'll know when you hear it and um, you'll hear the audio cue it'll jump up in the air and it'll just slam the floor and then start going absolutely crazy um, as soon as you hear the noise um, just dodge just get get distance because that this thing does hit like a bus and I've seen a fair few people cart to it so just be careful listen out for the noise last but not least as I mentioned before like the jet stream that it releases out of its mouth. It does a few variants where it might circle round while spitting out obviously all the water or it might do like a quarter turn or you know a half turn or, or whatever. Now to get away from this is you can either run away and do the whole belly flop on the floor and hope that you time it right so the water just scoops straight over you, you know, doesn't hurt you. The other alternative is, if you're close enough, just run straight at it. Um, there's a few times I've done it myself where you just run straight at it, as long as you don't obviously get hit by it in the process. That's probably the safest part. Like As long as you're behind its head, it's never going to touch you. Like this, the, the attack will never hit you. Um, so it's, it's one of the more annoying moves of its that 
you know, to dodge. Because if you don't time, like I say, the belly flop right, it'll still hit you. If you get caught with your trolleys around your ankles and you try to run at it and, you know, you've not got enough time, it's still going to hit you. The way that you actually do deal with this attack is very situational. Like, sometimes you just genuinely are too far away from the monster to run at it. So, I wouldn't try it unless you're relatively close. And that is pretty much all the advice I can give you guys. It is a super annoying monster. Um, and it is painful for some. But like I say in all my videos, keep trying, keep trying, and keep trying. At some point, everything will just click together and you will be coming out on top. Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you like the new way that I've sort of set the video up. And until next time, peace.
won't be needing this. Buddy. 